We just found these Nyala cows. They are very skittish animals, so we'd want to get closer to them to just get a better shot. Um, it's, we are very fortunate to see them here in daytime because you usually only see them at night. They went into the bushes here, but it seemed like we lost them. Um, the Nyala is a very, very secretive animal. He's not an animal that, that you usually see in daytime. He's not a herd animal. They usually live uh, in family groups of, of two to ten, or they live alone. Um, the name Nyala comes from a Swahili name, which in itself comes from the Zulu name Inyala. The Nyala is actually not from here. They are tropical animals, um, which you used to find them in the tropical areas of Africa, but they are very adaptable. The Nyala is both a grazer and a browser. He eats leaves, he eats grass, he eats flowers. Um, this ensures the fact that they survive. There's very distinctive differences between the male and the female in Yala. The male's got big, chunky, spiral horns. The female's got no horns. The males are a dark blue-gray. They, they have the vertical white stripes, where the females are a more reddish brown, with also the vertical white stripes across the body. This is the natural habitat of the Nyala. Besides predators, modern day living takes away all this from an animal, which poses a threat to this animal. What I love about these animals are their sheer beauty, their secretiveness, the way they live and integrate with the bush, makes you appreciate life more.